Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So we're going to be going up against Patchy in Gun Game. Now before we get into the rules, we're just going to shout out Patchy's channel real quick. He's got a really good channel. He posts a lot of high level gameplay such as his 2.5 thousand Jesse. Don't know how he got that, but he did it anyways. But with that being said, we're going to be playing Gun Game. Now if you guys don't know how Gun Game works, which some of you might not, it's been a while since we made a Gun Game video. We each pick a brawler from the first Tier, which is the first rarity. This rarity includes brawlers like Shelly, Nita, Colt, Brock, etc. They are trophy road brawlers. You can pick any of these brawlers and we go in on a 1v1 in Backyard Bowl. Now, why do we do Backyard Bowl instead of a normal, the normal 1v1 map? Because there's some walls so it promotes some diversity instead of it just being ranged brawlers that are good at juking and not tanks. So me and Patchy both get to play any of the trophy road brawlers that we want. If he wins the first round, he moves on to the next tier, which is the rare tier, and I am stuck on common. Now there are seven different tiers in the game. Now I know I called it common instead of trophy road. There are seven different tiers in the game. You have to go through every single tier, so you have to win seven times on seven different brawlers in seven different tiers in order to take the W. Now I was recording this, or at least I thought I was recording this, for the last five minutes, and we were going up against Patchy, and we were doing pretty well, I would say. But I wasn't recording, so it looks like Patchy is going to get a second life, so with that being said, let's hop into the games, and let's see what happens. So getting into the first game here, it's pretty obvious we're both going to go Colt. Because Colt is just the best brawler in the game right now, also the best 1v1 brawler. So the strat at the start is definitely just to spam gadgets. So he's got me in that one shot gadget range. He almost gets me, but he doesn't have the range in order to finish that kill. I'm just going to spray my gadget because there's no point of saving. He's going to go for another one. I'm going to have to juke it. I'm going to have to heal up here. So he has a pretty good start, actually. Going to go for the gadget. Okay, I'm stuck here. I'm going to lose this one. So a really good start for Patchy. I was up 5-0 last time, but you know what? He's able to get the victory. So one nothing for Patchy. Pretty good for him because I didn't think our video was going to be a 10 minutes or long enough for to be an actual video if I 7 would him. So pretty good start. one nothing Patchy. Let's hop into the next round and let's keep going. So going into the next round, he's probably going to go with Barley because Barley is the brawler that counters Colt the most out of the next brawlers. You have the choice between Barley, Poco, Rosa, or Primo. So two of those get hard countered. Then there's a Poco. Yeah, he's going to go with the Barley. So he's just going to try and stand behind walls and just heal his way. Use all of his gadgets really early on and see what he can do. I'm obviously just going to run forward and try and hit him with three gadgets. That's going to be a really quick kill, literally five seconds into the game. So we're going to move on to the next tier. We're now on the same tier. And having the same tier when you're in rare is really interesting. Because you have two different tanks. Then you have Barley. So if you want to play the waiting game, you can just use Barley and break walls and see if you can defeat a tank. Or you can go tank and run forward. Now there is Poco, but Poco is kind of irrelevant when it comes to those brawlers. So let's see what I pick. Let's see what Patchy picks. Let's hop into it and let's see what happens. So looking at these brawlers right now, I don't really know what I want to pick. I think I'm going to go with the Meteor Primo. Now the reason I'm going to go with Meteor Primo is because if he does go Barley or something that wants to hide behind a wall, I can just break it with my Meteor. So we're going to see what happens. He's also going to go with Primo. He's probably going to have the Toss Primo, so that's going to be better in the 1v1s. So let's see how this goes. This one's actually probably going to be more passive than you think. Going to get a couple shots right there. We're going to move this out of the way. So he also went with the same idea. So really good thoughts over there by Patchy. Had the same mindset for this one. He's playing this really passive. He really wants to win. Um, we're going to get our super first. Trying to bait him into punching. He's not going to do it though. He's going to punch over there. So I'm going to get a couple shots off on him. He's going to get a couple off on me. We're going to be kind of equal here when it comes to HP. He's using speed. I'm using the fire. He's going to throw the thumbs down. He's looking to get his super again. He's going to get it. So pretty good play over there by him to get his super because now that gives him an advantage over me. Going to run forward. Not going to be able to do anything for Patchy, I think. Yeah, I'm stuck. He's going to be able to get the kill. The speed was definitely the play over the fire. Don't know why I went with the fire, to be honest, but that is what it is. So 2-1 for Patchy. A lot better of a start this time than he had last time. So let's hop into the next round and let's keep going. Okay, so going into the next round, he has to choose between Daryl, Jackie, Rico, Penny, or Carl. So he's probably not going to go Penny if I know Patchy. I doubt he's going to go Rico. So I'm thinking he's going to go either Jackie, Daryl, or Carl. Which in that case, I think I should be going Primo. So I think I'm going to do the same strat, wall break, and speed this time instead of fire. Okay, he's going to go with Carl. That's what I thought. So we're going to just try and run up and kind of get him into a corner. Kind of juke a little bit. We don't want him to just be in the open because obviously this is not a great 
matchup for us in the open. Going to do a little bit of a juke over there, trying to get him into a corner. So we got him kind of cornered off over here. We're going to try and gain some HP. This is going to force him over there. Okay, but he does have super now. And what his super allows him to do is run away from any fight that he's going to be losing. Don't really know what that play was over there by Patchy. To be honest, he's going to run away. I'm just going to try and regain full health. Now, I have one Meteor to kind of push him back. So that's going to be what we're trying to do here. Is just try and get him into a corner with our Meteor. He's going to be forced one way. He's going to go right back into it. I think we should have the kill here. Oh, he's going to juke us, but we do have speed. Hopefully, we can get to him. Oh, and we're able to get to him. So that one was pretty close. That one definitely couldn't have, could have gone either way. But we're able to pick up the W. So two for me, two for him. Let's hop into the next round and let's keep going. Okay, so going into the next round, again, we have to go through the options that he had last time. So I don't think he goes Rico. That's not really Patchy's play style. I think I'm going to go with Jackie. And I don't know which one I want to go with. I think I'm just going to go with the Hardy Hat one. What's it called? I don't even know what it's called. Whatever. We're going to hop into it. He probably goes Daryl. Okay, he's going to be Daryl. So we have three speeds to work with. We definitely don't want to use our super in this 1v1 because that's just going to give Daryl an additional free shot if we do. So we're going to move forward. Going to get two taps here. Patchy's going to get us pretty low. He's going to roll. I'm going to try and use my speed to get out of the way here. We're both pretty low. So both kind of back off, decide we don't want to take that fight. I think I just have to hide behind this wall and play passive because there's really nothing else that I can do. He definitely outranges me. I'm going to run forward, try and catch him off guard. Not going to be able to do so. He has his super. Going to wait for that to run out. Let's see if I can get him. He shoots. I don't think he should have shot there. This is going to be pretty close. He's going to use the roll. And we're going to get the kill with 1.2 thousand HP. So that one was really close. A really good match. It's going to be 3 to 2 for me now. So let's hop into the next game and let's keep on rolling. Get it rolling. Haha. <laughs> so moving into the next round here. We have the options of Piper Pam, Frank BB, Nani, Edgar, and B. So what I think Patchy's going to go maybe is a tank. He might not tank because in the previous 1v1 we did when I forgot to click record, I went B and I kind of destroyed him pretty quickly. And if he goes B or if he goes tank and I'm a B, I'm just gonna automatically win. So I actually think he's going to go with Carl or Penny. And if so, I'm gonna try and counter it with shield BB. So let's see if I can big brain him here. He is gonna go Carl. So he did get the big brain going. We're just gonna run this one forward and hopefully he's not able to do anything because we have our gadget. So we're gonna hit him up against the wall right here. He's just gonna go behind us, but that's just gonna be easy work. We had the counter. We just big brained him. Nothing he could really do. So let's hop into the next one and let's keep on going. Okay, so going into the next round, we're now coming towards the home stretch. Only have to win three more. We're, we have the option of Mortis, which is a really good 1v1 brawler. Tara, Gene, Max, Mr. P, Byron, which is also really strong, or Sprout. So seeing the options he has, I think I'm just gonna go with Mr. P. Because Mr. P is just a really well-rounded brawler, and I think if we play it right, we're going to win. Now, if he goes Jackie, it's an auto loss, because there's nothing we can do against a Jackie. So let's see what he decides to go. Of course, it's going to be Jackie. So we're just going to try and have to keep our distance as much as possible. He can mess this up. I mean, it is winnable. It's just going to be really hard. He knows what he's doing. He's putting the cry straight away, and he's just going to run forward. There's nothing I can do. Very sad moment. I hate this game. But let's keep on going. He's going to get a 10 second win. I guess it's the same as when I went BB and he went Carl. He just kind of big brained it and ran it down, ran forward and just had the counter. So let's hop into the next game and let's keep going. Okay, so we still have the same brawlers to work with, but his tier changes. So we can pick any of these brawlers. So it's going to be a little bit difficult for us to counter him now because we don't really know what he's going to go. If I were to make a guess, he's going to go something. Actually, you know what? He can go really any of these. I doubt he goes Frank. So let's take Frank off the mix here. He can go any of these five. So just looking at our brawlers, I think we stick with Mr. P. Unless he goes Edgar, which would completely destroy us. But to be honest, if he goes Edgar, he would destroy us for any of these brawlers. So I think we have to stick with Mr. P, to be honest. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to go Mortis and just try and finesse him. I don't know if we can, but we're going to try our best. So he does go Edgar, which is a pretty obvious pick, I feel. We're just going to try and run away from his shots. Let's see if we can get a kill. He used one jump already, so that's actually a really strong start for us. Trying to bait him into using a shot. He is going to use one. 
I have my long dash. This should be a kill. There we go. We're going to be able to get a kill. So although he did have the counter, he played that wrong. He took that one shot when he should have regen, which allowed me to walk forward when he had less HP and just long dash into him. So that's going to be a really quick win for us with the Mortis. The Mortis was definitely the play. Two more tiers left. We only need two more wins. It's 5-3 the score right now. So let's hop into it. And let's see if we can get those Ws. Okay, so two rounds left. We've now reached the Legendary Brawlers. Now, all the Legendary Brawlers actually feel kind of weak right now, which is really weird, considering they are the hardest Brawlers in the game to get. But that's a topic for another time. So I think what we're going to go with is going to be Crow. And we're going to use the Shield. And we're just going to hope that he's a B and we can just chip, 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 and then jump on him when the time is right. But we're going to see what happens. He's probably thinking this one over. He probably thinks I'm going to crow. Actually, so now that I think about it, maybe we switch it up. Maybe I go something. If he's trying to counter crow, what would he go? He would probably go Pam. So if he goes Pam, what counters Pam? Spike. Let's see if we got the outplay. Maybe we did. Okay, we didn't. We definitely should have stayed crow. We overthought this by a mile, and now we're getting hard countered by a B. But with that said, let's see if we can still win this. We just got to dodge these gadgets. Please, okay, we did an absolutely terrible job of dodging. Gonna move right up against the wall now, so now he can't hit us. Gonna try and juke him, there we go. He's gonna miss that one. He's got one gadget left. That's all he's got to work with. So we're gonna see if we can somehow make our way up. I don't know why we didn't go curveball. We probably should have gone curveball now that I think about it. But whatever, that's a story for another time. He's using honey coat, which means he's gonna get to one HP and he's gonna stay alive for about a second longer. So he's got that advantage on us as well we just gotta wait for him to use that 3k shot try and kind of bait it out gonna stay above 3k hp i don't know what he was shooting at over there but whatever hopefully we can get him down here to that one hp get that honeycomb out no my joystick please work okay my joystick stopped working for a second we kind of wasted our super trying to get him low but at least we have him backed up now he has still has his honeycomb left he still has one gadget left so he's not in a terrible position he can still win this game very easily Joystick, please be responsive. Trying to get our super back and just pin him down back here. He's going to use his gadget. This is a really bad position for us. He's going to get me here. Oh, he's going to get me. I had the outplay with the crow. I thought too much into it. So it's now going to be five to four. So this is looking like a really good ending for the video. It's going to be really close. So let's hop into the next game. Let's see what happens. Okay, so going into the next round, he's got tons of options, but none of them are tank counters now unfortunately i don't have any tanks that i can pick right now i don't know what he's going to pick if he goes byron i'm going to be really messed up because all of these brawlers get countered by byron um i think what we do is we go sandy i think what is the longest range i don't know what is the longest range i think amber is the longest range out of all these brawlers but I think what we're going to do is go Sandy and just try and do our best with juking and weaving our way through. He's going to go Byron. Pretty obvious pick. Um, this is going to be a really tough one to win. I don't think we're going to be able to do it, if I'm going to be honest. But we're going to try and figure this out. We're going to just hide over here. Our goal is to get him to a corner. But if we just sit behind this wall and play passive, he might come to us eventually. I don't know. I'm going to take a shot forward for absolutely no reason because I missed that by about 14 tiles or something. So he's just going to keep shooting. I guess I'm going to make my way up and try and do something here. I don't know. Patchy does not want to lose this. This one might be a stalemate. I think Patchy's going to be totally down to wait until there's two minutes left or zero seconds left in the game and just get to overtime. So I'm just going to try and do my best juking forward. Going to hide behind this wall here. He's going to be able to hit us. So he needs one more shot for the win. He's going to get it. That one just wasn't winnable for us. And I did not want to wait two and a half minutes and get to overtime. So that's going to be a 5-5 five to five score. This is getting really interesting here. I don't know who's going to win. We have absolutely no clue. So let's hop into the next game. It's basically a best 2 out of 3 right now. So let's get into it and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into our next match. Now we've done this twice already in two times. My cable undid and the screen went black. One time Patchy won, one time I won. So this seems to be a fair 1v1. We're keeping the same brawlers that we did during those games. So we're going to try and juke these curveballs over here. We're both doing a pretty good job. Uh, Patchy's going to get two hits over there. He's one shot. I should probably just heal up here. So 15 seconds into the game. It seems like we're pretty even at this point. Super is really important for applying pressure and trying to just force your opponent into another area. He's going to get two really good hits over there. I'm going to get two as well. I'm one shot to super. Going to see if I can get a really cheeky hit there. Not going to be able to get one. So he's going to push us back. So he's got us in a really good position right now. 
for himself. Now, I want to chill on this side of the wall because on the other side, he can just wrap around his curves really nicely. But he can't really do that over here. So we're going to try and hit these shots now. Oh, he's going to hit a full one on us. We might be screwed here, and we are. Patchy is going to take the W, and it is going to be 6-5 to five for Patchy. So if he wins one more... Patchy is going to take the W. So let's hop into the next game and let's try not to lose. Okay, so here we go into the last, potential last or second last match. So he can choose between Colette, Surge, Lou, or Gale. So we can be really screwed over here. Um, I really don't know what to go if I'm being honest. If I go, if he goes Colette, I counter it with Spike, but then he counters Spike with Surge. So I'm really at a loss for what to go. I think I'm just going to go with Spike and just hope for the best. But this could be the end of the road for the undefeated streak. So let's hop in game. Let's hope he doesn't go Surge. And let's ready up. All right, so here we go into the game. He's going to go Surge. So we're going to have to keep our distance as well as possible. Um, moving up here. It's probably going to be in this grass. Okay. He's going to try and just TP on us, obviously. We're just going to try and get super. We don't want to waste any of our shots. We want to hold all of our shots. He's just chilling in that grass. I think he's cool with a tie. I don't really want to wait here and tie, but I also don't want to lose to Patchy. So it's a pretty interesting spot we're in here. He's going to get one shot off on me. So that's a pretty good start for Patchy. Getting one shot. We're going to take our shot there. We're just trying to get our super. If we get our super, this game is going to be a lot easier. Oh, good shots over there by Patchy, actually. He's going to try and TP onto us. We might be screwed here. Oh, and we're going to be screwed. And just like that, congratulations to Patchy. He is going to take the W and he's going to be the first one to win the challenge. Now, it's pretty sad for me since, again, I'm not trying to take a low blow, but I was up 5-0 before the re-recording. But it is what it is. I'm just happy we got a really good video out of it. So GG's to Patchy. Congrats. And again, on his channel or in the description, sorry, not on his channel. In the description, there is going to be his channel. So GG's to Patchy. Really good video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see more gun games, let me know. And let me know in the comment section down below who you guys want to see me face. But that is going to be it for me today, and I will catch you guys again tomorrow. Peace.